Jake Ludington here at HP Discover in London, and I'm here with Giorgio Curatolo. And MVNE, something that I'm not very familiar with, could you maybe break down what that is? Sure. So MVNE stands for Mobile Virtual Network Oper Enabler, um, basically allowing um, companies that are interested in running their own uh, telco, basically having a relationship with their customers and delivering cellular-based services. So what, is it, what does that mean, running your own telco? I mean, so is that like, um, I want to compete with Verizon head-on, or what does that mean? <laughs> no, it does not mean you want to compete with the Verizon head-on. It's basically you want to allow your devices or your um, UEs to be connected to a network. The network could be many networks, um, but you want to brand it. You want to actually have your own relationship with the customers and then have a selection of which telcos you want to manage in terms of the uh, radio access side. So can you give me, give me a practical example of what, what kind of a company would do something like that? Um, so we're seeing a lot of uh, emerging uh, companies in the space of IoT, similar to connected car, um, freight manufacturers that uh, are, are looking to track their cargo um, fleet vehicles, uh, any company that has any kind of logistics uh, associated to their brand that are interested in knowing worldwide where their vehicles are, where their containers are, where their products are, they, they need that um, worldwide capability. What they're finding is it's very challenging to find a single telco that can satisfy their requirements worldwide they're finding it very difficult to also to find the technologies. There's many different technologies between 2G, 3G, 4G, um, where we help within that space is um, we help manage those relationships between the carrier side and the enterprise that's interested in uh, bringing on that service, as well as managing all the technologies. Uh, so, so what kind of technologies are, are in the stack that you're providing? Um, so HPE's been in the business uh, delivering, uh, supplying to telcos for over 25 years. Uh, some of the core network elements are associated to authentication, to policy control, charging, and effectively the core uh, connections for like a gateway function, assigning IP addresses to devices. So uh, these are the elements that are in the MVNE platform that we're now offering as a service so that uh, our customers can uh, onboard rather quickly. Uh, time to the market is so much faster by giving them access to immediate uh, core network elements. And I, I'm assuming that since you're talking that these are, are kind of maybe IoT-like devices, that it's a lot more than say a large um, telco that has like a hundred million devices being the a, a large number. That's correct. This is focused primarily on the machine-to-machine -machine type traffic, uh, more towards those IoT type devices. So, uh, you know, you'll see enterprises with uh, use cases and requirements for a hundred thousand units, not tens of millions. Um, but. The, um, it's exploding in the number of these connected devices and you have many, many uh, organizations looking to become their own provider of that service. So, so what's something that makes HPE a key differentiator here um, as opposed to, I don't even know, is there another solution? Um, well, there are many carriers that actually offer MVNE platforms within their core. Uh, really, one of the biggest strengths is HP's global presence. Uh, our relationships, both on the enterprise side and on the telco side, is really where our strength lies, is we can help all the service providers really extend and reach out to the enterprise and help the enterprise reach in and find the correct telco for their service. So we act in the middle, we, we provide that platform as a service. Uh, we've got uh, quite a presence in this marketplace. Uh, 25 years we've been providing solutions to the telcos directly, now offering it as a managed service, bringing our years of expertise to that end customer really is the big advantage. Okay, is there anything else you'd want people to know about MVNE? &E? Um, really, the you know the, this explosion of devices is really going to change. We have so many solutions within the IoT platform that we are now going to deliver as a service, uh, getting the newcomers into the space, on board, and active quickly, so that revenue starts immediately. There's no investment uh, to make on, on an upfront basis. It's really about helping enable emerging uh, this new emerging uh, industry uh, and providing them the technology they need to deliver on their solutions. All right, well, thanks, Giorgio. Hey, thank you.